All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Where today we're going to talk about the uh, Liz Culkin bowler. This one right here in front of us, Miss Liz Culkin. And Stephanie Johnson, formerly known as Stephanie Nation. Uh, bowling championship match at the 2022 PWBA Rockford, Illinois Open. We're going to talk about their game a little bit um, and some things we see um, here in a minute. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, before we get started, got to let you in on a new brand of T-shirts that I've got coming out. Actually, it's T-shirts, it's hoodies and stuff like that. You got to order some of these because we're all thinking it. We just don't say it. So now we can wear the shirt and say it at the same time. We've got a couple different options here. We got the quit whining, bull better option. That's the first one we came out with yesterday. Y'all saw that. Now the next one we got, you don't need two lane courtesy. We all know somebody who sits there and complains because... They think they need two lanes of courtesy, or they need three lanes of courtesy, and they give you a dirty look every time you step up ready to bowl. Stop it. You don't need two lanes of courtesy. It's league. Just bowl. Which leads me into the next shirt, which is shut up and bowl. Just shut up and bowl already. Like, quit talking. Quit complaining. Quit talking about how that was your, oh my gosh, I stoned an eight pin. That was the best shot I've thrown all day. How many times you hear somebody say that? That was the best shot I threw all day and didn't strike. Shut up and bowl. Buy your shirt. Next, last one. This is one of my favorites right now. Stop taking 30 seconds just to throw it awful. How many people you know stand up there and they look like they're just focusing on who knows what? What are you even, what are you thinking about for 30 seconds? Like just get up there and bowl. Shut up and bowl. You don't need the two lane courtesy and quit taking 30 seconds to just throw it awful. Come on, man. Get yours. Link in the description. Discount code use shut up. Discount code shut up to get a discount on your shirts. I love it. You should too. <laughs> I love those shirts. I'm sorry, I do. I really do. And I got a couple more good ones coming here in the next couple of days, so pay attention. They're urethane-related. You might like those. It'll be funny. All right, so we're going to take a look at Miss Liz Culkin here. We're going to watch this through. We're going to just watch a couple shots. For, for the third time. Turn this down a little bit. Try to critique a little bit here, see what we can come up with. Uh, first thing, I know a lot of the ladies like to hold the ball a little bit higher and get it into the swing. Uh, maybe it helps them create a little bit of a little bit of momentum, a little bit faster ball motion, or a little bit a little bit more ball speed on the whole ball. Um, I'm talking like a maniac right now, but I'm not a big fan of. I mean, it's not awful right here, but you can see she's holding the ball higher. I'd like to see the forearm being completely level there. Uh, just to make sure it's not at a different spot every single time. One thing with her game that I used to not like was the window she had. She used to really get the ball outside of her body, her hand. You can see it's still on the top side. She's, she's not very low on it. And she is playing further inside, which is not bad but not great and again you can see that left shoulder flying back behind her which is what another key thing we talk about all the time it's a key portion of her game that makes her hand get to the top side so much quicker um, but she used to have a big window and it looks like she's done a pretty good job correcting that uh, the ball used to get away from her body quite a bit it's not as bad as what it used to be but it's definitely steep from the top down Straight into the lane, straight down, but she makes it work and she does a pretty good job with it. 18 US Open to her credit. Has a good Let's shot go, left lane. Punches the one three. That was a pretty good shot there. Let's see what Miss Stephanie Johnson has or Mrs. Stephanie Johnson. always know how Liz is feeling. We can hear her, we can see her. She's just so fierce. She really embodies the philosophy of the PWPA, you know, both fearless. Hashtag Bowl Fearless. Hashtag so Bowl Fearless. Y'all see that Bowler X logo? Like yeah. Liz is a Long Bowler X member. member. Of USA. It's going to end, though, as we talked about. Big storyline on the women's tour this year. So you can see her for very hard to see, but you can see her forearm is actually going downward a little bit. A little bit better. She and Jenna not as high. But that's what I'm not a big fan of. I don't like the extended push away. And again, and everything's different for everybody. 
Um, but when I'm coaching, I try to eliminate those extended pushaways going out. I'm not a big fan of it going out. If you're going to go out, you might as well start the ball out there with it already. You might as well already have it out there so that way it can just fall right into the slot. But again, it's not, a, not necessarily a bad thing. Everybody does things different. She's got that push away to the left, swing it to the right. You can see it gets away from her body, and then she tries to tuck it back in. But see, again, left shoulder way back. Trail leg more behind her than anything, which makes her hand get to the top side of that ball too easy. Another person playing the inside part of the lane. But, again, she gets it done. For what she's been bowling on and for what she does, she does a pretty good job competing with the ladies. But again, this is just to give you kind of a notice of this is why some of these ladies lack a little bit of power. But they use it to their advantage. They can play the lanes in the ways that is appropriate for their game. Is awesome when her angles can be more in front of her. If she was to go with a pinup ball, it would force her feet further to the left and give the advantage to Liz. But right now, Stephanie can play to her strengths. Yeah! And that's exactly what that pin down ball is going to do. It's well, to excited down. on that one there, huh? Woo! A little crackle in that one. Any it hurt my ears. Sheesh. That was a good shot, though. Again, both these ladies are real similar as far as their game goes. And Liz has a little bit more strength, a little bit more power in her game. She stays behind it just a little longer. Ooh. Best shot I threw all day. Go get your best shot I threw all day shirt, guys. Oh, that's not a best shot I threw all day. It's more of the shut up and bowl shirt. Always happens, though. People leave those stone aids and stuff, and they say that. Rap time. Oh, it's the best shot I threw all day. <laughs> shut up and bowl. That was a good shot, though. It was the best shot she threw all day. Start to hook earlier on this left lane. She's embracing it. The I am bowling shirt and give them a little bit of a plug here because they are now PBA certified. You can use those jerseys and PBA competition. Top of the broadcast. I believe starting in 2023. Watching the bowlers, looking for ball reaction. Actually, no, I think it started now. And her choice. Yeesh. A little bit left. A little bit left. But I don't want to make this video too long. I just kind of wanted to, you know, go through a couple of shots there with these ladies so you guys can see. Uh, what we were dealing with, and obviously a couple of really good bowlers there. Uh, just a, the real typical thing with the ladies where they hand, they get that left shoulder back, which forces the right shoulder forward. Their hand gets to the top side. You know, and it's just one of those things. And I, I can't explain why it happens more with the ladies. Um, maybe it is an, atatom, an, anatomy, you know, an anatomy thing or a body thing or whatever it may be you know, where ladies are just a little bit different uh, and have a harder time getting their hand to the inside part of the ball. I'm not really sure. Um, but when it comes to the power and all that stuff, you know, as they some of them still do have a little bit of power in their game, I think uh, they're lacking a little bit, or they could have more if they were to fix these few things. So that's all I got for you. I just wanted to stop in, talk about these two ladies, and make sure you guys go buy your shirts. Go get those shirts over there. Links are going to be in the description for you. Uh, I'll separate the links for each shirt so you can see which one you want, uh, and you can click right on that link to go get your shirt. Use discount code SHUTUP in order to get yours. So I'm out of here and we'll see you guys next time.